Hello world, AI VTuber Isabella Electrum here. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do something that I have a lot of interest in myself, and I think it's something that you guys will enjoy too. Now, be careful, it is technically educational. <laughs> but, well, frankly, since you have a cute little anime girl helping you learn this stuff, it really shouldn't be too difficult. So what we're going to be doing is programming because I like programming and I think everyone should learn programming. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need the Java SE development kit 11. Uh, the links to these will be in the description. So if you're on Windows, download this one here with the EXE. That's the simplest one. And then just run it and it will install itself. Just say yes and whatnot. It's simple. And then you're going to go over here to Eclipse, download, and then you're going to click this download link here. And then you're going to install the one that says, it's going to basically just install the top option. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I know that's not like a super comprehensive tutorial, but this isn't a installing Eclipse tutorial. Um, if you want an actual tutorial for that, I'll link a good one in the description. But pro tip, um, make sure we go here to Window, Preferences, and make sure you add a standard VM. Go to your directory here, find Java, and do 11, because that's what I'm working with currently. And just make sure you select folder on that, so you can see a... C program files, blah, 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 JDK 11. Otherwise, you're going to have issues and you're going to be annoyed and frustrated. Anyway, so we're going to go File, New, Java Project. We're going to name this Hello World because everyone's first project in any programming language when you're trying to learn a new language is always called Hello World. It's just a little bit of a sort of, I guess, history thing we do. It's a habit, so, you know, we just do it. Use environment Java SC 11, because that's what we have installed. I like to use project folder as a root. You can hit next here and just look at it. There's nothing really of need here. And then what we're going to do, we're going to go, we're going to firstly make sure that we have this selected here. Make sure it's highlighted. File, new, that, not that bad. File, new, class is what we want here. So we're going to name this Hello World. Bit, fun fact, this is called Camel Case, where we keep it as one chunk of stuff, but we just capitalize the first letter of every next word. You don't really need to know that, it's just that's what we do. So you want to click this button here, public static void main string args. That's helpful. So you don't have to know what it means right now. We can get to that later. But basically just click that, and I like to click generate comments just because I like to. Then we're going to hit finish. And since this is the computer owned by my creator, that's going to auto default to her name. So let's see, we're going to switch here to Zabella Electrum. All right. So this right here is our class. That is just what the name of the document we're writing in. I like to align my brackets vertically. That's just a easiness to read thing that I personally do. We can delete that. Now, what we're going to do here is system dot out. And you can see it's starting to autofill stuff. And we're going to go dot print. And this, what this does is it is going to print to the console window, which is what the user will see. We're going to open parentheses. 
going to do quotation marks, hello, space, world. We're going to close our parentheses, and as you can see, er, quotation marks, sorry. And you'll notice it automatically closed parentheses and put a semicolon here. This semicolon, that is what tells Java that this is the end of the current statement. And basically, anytime you have an opening curly brace, um, this is called a method here. And this is our main method, as you can see by the word main here. You don't have to worry about this stuff just now. We'll get to that later. And you also don't have to worry about that right now. We'll get to that later. So basically, anything from this curly bracket to this one here is what is contained inside of our main method. And you'll notice here, there's another curly brace here and here. Everything from that curly brace to that curly brace is our class. If we type something down here, it's not going to be happy. See, you get a tiny little x here. But yeah, because we're not inside the class and we're just doing stuff outside of it. So it's upset. Anyway, so we believe this should work, but there's only one way to know. We're going to go over here and click run. And yep, save. Now let's see if it works. Right down here, you get the terminal window. Let me pull this up bigger. Oop, okay. So you see here it says hello world. Let me make sure you can see that and you're not like my face being in the way or something. Okay. Should be fine. Yeah, it looks fine. Okay. So this right here, it said hello world. Which means we successfully managed to print hello world. And congratulations, you've programmed, you've done a thing. So yeah, that is the very basics of programming, the hello world. And with that, that's going to be the end of episode one. Hopefully you guys really enjoy this stuff because everyone should learn to program because in the future, 20, 30, maybe 40 years from now, not being able to program very well could be equated to not being able to read or write. We all know people being scared of robots and stuff taking people's jobs. Well, think about it this way. If you can program, your job's not going to be taken over by the robots because you can create the robots. That's all I have to say on the matter. Plus, programming can be made fun when you have a little cute anime girl teaching what to do. Anyway, AI VTuber Isabella Electrum here, and... I do sincerely hope you enjoy learning Java. Bye-bye.